Now, I, I have to warn you, I've been making edits on the fly to my speech. The Governor General stole all my best lines. Uh, yes, that's how it's going to go tonight. I'm going to start with a couple of a quick acknowledgments. Uh, first, I want to thank my caucus colleagues for being here tonight. We don't normally whip attendance at these kinds of events, but apparently we can use the practice. Je veux aussi re, uh, remercier notre hôte Manon pour avoir fait un travail extraordinaire ce soir. Ça doit être un peu dé déstabilisant pour toi d'être dans une salle où il y a plus d'invités que de personnes qui s'abonnent au devoir. Uh, en fait, Manon, uh, j'espère que tu n'es pas encore fâché avec l'affaire des scrums au troisième étage. De toute façon, tes journalistes ne, ne nous écoutent pas et nos ministres non plus. Uh, and finally, I, I really do want to thank Vice for letting you all into their exclusive tonight. <laughs> tonight, we come together to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Canada's Parliamentary Press Gallery. <laughs> 150 years of comforting the afflicted, afflicting the comfortable, and from time to time, having the incomparable Kerry Fraser narrate play-by-plays of prime ministerial elbows. <laughs> I have been banging on the glass, working my whole life to have Kerry Fraser notice me. It's possible I went a little too far. <laughs> of course, uh, as a Habs fan, I can't agree with all of his calls, but nice hair, though. <laughs> I want to acknowledge some of the other guests uh, who are here tonight. Rana Ambrose has done a great job as interim leader of the opposition, hasn't she? I'll tell you, it's been really nice for Liz and me to have another female party leader in the House. Tom Mulcair a récemment eu quelques ennuis avec ses collègues du NPD. Ça lui a probablement rappelé ses dernières années au PLQ. Euh, parlant du PLQ, au moins il aurait maintenant le temps de profiter du Mont Orford pour lequel il s'est embattu. But Tom and I, we're not really that different. For example, if polls are to be believed, Tom Mulcair's number is now also nine. So, I'll let you invent your own segue on this one, but in case anyone was wondering, I won't be swearing tonight because my mom is here. Uh, actually, how about a round of applause for Kim Cottrell? <laughs> and uh, finally, someone uh, without whom I would not be uh, Prime Minister here tonight standing before you, uh, without whom guaranteeing she'd be up here on stage with me, I wouldn't be up here in front of you on stage. Uh, I want to ask you to join me uh, to welcome uh, the mother of my oh-so-convenient and effective props, uh, my children, uh, the daughter of my globe-trotting in-laws, uh, and Canada's First Lady of Song, Please put your hands together for Sophie Trudeau, Sophie Grégoire, Sophie Trudeau Grégoire, Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, Sophie. Hello, 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 thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It's a, c'est, écoutez, c'est, la vérité, c'est que je prends vraiment ma courge à deux mains pour être ici sur scène ce soir. Alors, merci de m'accueillir. Sophie, Sophie, what are you wearing tonight? We all want to know. Oh my God, thank you so much for asking. So, I'm wearing Canadian, all Canadian. So, this is Untitled from Quebec, Montreal, the duo of designers. And these earrings are uh, Sappho, uh, originally a Montreal designer who is now living in Toronto. So, it's all Canadian. I'm wearing Canadian. Thank you. Thank you and, so and much. And you look fabulous, baby. Thank you. Um, you know, when I thought of the opportunity that I was going to have to be here on stage in front of all of you tonight, I thought, it's the best chance I have to express myself in song. <laughs> and, 
And you were so kind to me the last time I sang. And yeah, they were, you, know, you, you were great, really. Yeah. <laughs> You, 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 you put me out there in all the newspapers and then in the media. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We, we all appreciated that. And you know, I always speak from the heart with an open heart as a yogi. And so I call the PMO. I call the PMO and they always, I always let them know how I feel. And I said, all right, listen, in order to do this, I need a pianist, a cellist, and a violinist because I need a team. I need to feel supported, right? <laughs> Thank you. As you can see, well, the one thing that I couldn't believe is that, and you probably don't know this, but nobody can play the harp on your team. Yeah, no, I, we're, we're working on that. I love, I love, I love the harp, I love the harp. So I thought, listen, I can stand solely on my own, right? So I'm gonna sing for you tonight. Boom, ba-dum. So clear and so bright. Boom, ba-dum. What's the next line? Forget his selfies. Boom, bottom. Cause it's all about me. Boom, bottom. My brooch, the nanny's my hair. Boom, bottom. Sophie Gate everywhere. Boom, bottom. Cause it's all, all, all. It's all about me. Boom, bottom. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. You have left me uh, inspired and uplifted, and uh, I now can uh, get on with the rest of my speech because I'm, I'm feeling totally grounded now. Thank you. This grounds me, really. Wait, you're, you're feeling totally what, sorry? Grounded, yeah. You're feeling grounded? Yes. No, 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 no. So when I sing, my love, it's about being elevated. It's elevating ourselves up into the skies, but in yoga, it's, it really is about being grounded. And um, team, team, yoga mat, please. Hello. <laughs> yoga mat, please. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right over here, guys. Right over here. Yep. Jerry, just pay attention. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So line it with the speaker a little bit. Thank you. I don't roll or unroll mats. Ugh. They get to tend to be dirty. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I'm sure that you all know that in politics, it's really about keeping a balancing act and finding peace and quietness amidst the chaos and amidst the adversity. And so in yoga, it's always important to keep at least the hands or the feet to the ground. So my love, when you do this, and you should be doing more of it, right? You keep your hands here and then the balancing act goes like this, right? So you should be doing more of this because you'd be hitting less people, my love, right? <laughs> and this is really good for anger management. Tom, you want to try it? Yeah, no. Tom, no. I think All right. Tom, Tom's not going to hurt his brand right. by, uh, uh, by coming up here tonight. Uh, but thank you, baby. I, I should really uh, continue with my speech now. Don't go yet, my love. Did they have the shot? I think they got the okay. shot. So that was totally normal. <laughs> Depuis l'élection, mon équipe de communication s'est vraiment assurée que je m'occupe des vraies affaires. Prendre une photo avec les pandas, embrasser des bébés, prendre des selfies, Boxant devant les caméras, boxer devant les caméras. Étrangement, euh, mon équipe ne m'a pas encore demandé de faire un striptease ou de débouler les marches pour les caméras, mais euh, je me suis fait assurer qu'on a trois ans, ça s'en vient. I was also going to tell you this great joke about quantum physics, but uh, then I realized I'd have to explain it all. And uh, since it was an incredibly subtle punchline, I decided not to bother because I didn't want to bore you. Uh, now. I know some of you will want to know when my office will become subject to ATIP. I don't know why you need that when my entire search history is already online. 
Take a look. Did Media Party have a cabinet shuffle? I need to know this stuff. Reporters named Justin. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Ling. Sometimes I look things up to help me make important decisions. Tie colors that show regret. And sometimes it's a little too late. Does NRC have a time machine, please? Sometimes it's too late because, let's face it, I've got more mistakes than Jason Kenney has deleted tweets. Uh, like that time I said I admired China. Oh yeah, that, that's why I said that. My, my spinners will have told you it's called playing the long game. Speaking of long games, I'm a little sad that President Obama will be leaving public office soon. There's been a lot of talk about my bromance with President Barack Obama, how I look up to him, how I have so much to learn from him, and I'm like, Barack, you're absolutely right. Thank you for pointing it out again. I have to admit, though, I'll miss his leadership and his good advice. I will not miss the wedgies. Some of you have asked me what I think about Kevin O'Leary. I actually think he'll do great. His resume includes time spent in Dragon's Den and a shark tank. What better training ground for Wednesday morning caucus meetings, whether he runs for the liberal leadership or the conservative leadership. Mais Kevin, si tu décides de, lance, de te lancer en politique, j'espère que tu suivras d'abord sept jours de formation pour t'aider à faire la transition du monde des affaires au monde de la politique. PKP a seulement fait celui de cinq jours et clairement, il a manqué des bouts vraiment essentiels durant les deux derniers jours. Before I finish, I want to give a few shout-outs to the Lickspittles. First, I have to congratulate Paul Wells on finally joining the Liberal Party. Oh, no, sorry, I meant the Toronto Star. Congratulations also to Jeffrey Simpson, whose upcoming retirement surprised many of us, mostly because we thought he'd retired 10 years ago. <laughs> and to Rosie Barton, whose freckles, as it turns out, are actually an allergic reaction to being exposed to so many talking points. <laughs> Et TVA? Ben, TVA, ils sortent pas leurs journalistes souvent. Raymond et Michel n'ont même pas participé au reportage d'intérêt public le plus important de l'année, l'invasion de domicile par une grosse dinde sauvage en Outaouais. Honnêtement, c'est décevant. Où étiez-vous? Tu sais, premier sur la nouvelle, dernier sur les lieux. Les gros canons de Radio-Canada, ils le savent qu'on les aime. Mélanie Joly a éventré au grand jour le secret le moins bien gardé. Ben là, c'est facile. Radio-Canada. And of course, I can't not mention Terry Guillon. True story. I remember how disappointed I was to read that Terry was leaving the press gallery until someone told me he was leaving because I'd hired him. <laughs> now... To these individuals and to the many, many more who dedicate themselves to this nine to five beat, thank you for your hard work. It's a tricky relationship. The dance between those whose job it is to make smart, tough decisions and those whose job it is to ask tough questions about those decisions when they turn out to be really, really dumb. It isn't always easy. It isn't always nice. But a healthy democracy needs your work as much as it needs mine, okay, even more. And with that, I offer you my congratulations on 150 years. May you continue to be a thorn in our side for centuries to come. Until next year, merci beaucoup.